What's up YouTube? Kyle here. Let's talk wax. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm finally back with some new content for you this week. I've been coaching my daughter's t-ball team and my time has been very tight, but I'm excited to bring you a new sleeper prospect. Today's sleeper prospect is Colin Barber, a 20-year-old outfielder in the Houston Astros organization. The University of Oregon commit was drafted in the fourth round of the 2019 MLB draft. There really isn't a whole lot to say about Barber's first full season in rookie league except that he had a decent strikeout to walk ratio. Barber only played 28 games, but he hit 263 with two home runs and five doubles. Fangrass has Barber rated as a 60 speed and 45 raw power. Another thing I like about Barber is he didn't miss much baseball in 2020. He was the youngest player at the alternative site and he also trained at Instructs. One thing everyone agrees on is that Barber is fast. Where the controversy lies is whether his power will develop into plus or average. Now a lot of you may be wondering why am I doing a sleeper prospect video on Colin Barber. The stats really aren't there to prove anything. The thing I like most about this sleeper prospect is how the front office feels about him. The Astros GM has compared his work ethic to that of Alex Bregman. He's quoted as saying, he's a guy who has a little Bregman in him in terms of his focus. You see it in the gym, you see it in the cage. Getting to the big leagues, there's no other option for him. He's really locked in. Patia also said that his power, especially relative to his age, is impressive. I found a short video clip of Colin Barber's home run at the alternate site when he was just 19 years old. And the sound the ball makes off the bat is pretty impressive. Excuse the Diablo in the video. I've been buying Colin Barber autos for about two months now, between $15 and $25. I was really excited last week when I got to pick up a blue for just $60. These are pretty cheap. Barber seems like a power speed prospect in the making. The superior athleticism may not be there, but there could be some serious juice in this bat with 60 speed. I always try to tell you guys things I don't like about prospects, but for Barber, it's kind of hard. He's had such a small sample size. And the only thing that I can really see bad about him is him not sticking in center field. If he can't stick in center field, it may put a little more pressure on his bat. But from everything that I've been reading about Barber, the power is there. And it will only continue to grow. With such impressive power at a young age and a solid walk to strikeout ratio in rookie league, there is some major upside for Colin Barber, even if he doesn't stick in center. As always, guys, I appreciate the views. Hopefully this information helps you. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. I'm about 930 subscriptions away from getting paid. Also, be sure to check out my Facebook group, Chrome is King, Bowman Chrome Baseball Cards, and Prospect Resource. A lot of cool stuff going on in there. You can find a link to it down in the description. And make sure you guys tell me what you think about Colin Barber in the comments. Have a great day.